Today's topic, happiness. Is happiness the goal? You know, I think, I think having any emotion as the goal is really tricky. So happiness, just like other emotions, is very fleeting. And so when we're aiming to try to have one steady state emotion, I think we get into a lot of trouble. So happiness, for example, if your whole purpose of life is to end up in a state of constant happiness, how do you know any other emotion? If you're stuck in happiness, you're just kind of stuck. So to know true happiness, a lot of times the deepest happiness that I've felt has been after feeling the deepest sadness. So crying, bawling my eyes out, and then somebody makes that one funny comment and you just laugh so hysterically that you can't remember where you are. For me, happiness is not the goal. To experience life, to live, to feel alive, to let emotions happen, is the goal. What is the difference between happiness and joy? Ah, okay, so, <clears throat> it's about three years ago I was reading this book called Emotion Across Cultures by Anna Wurtzbika. She uh, studies uh, anthropology and linguistics. And she said, in very simple terms, happiness is... I feel good, something good is happening to me or to us. And then she said, the difference is joy is, I feel good, something good is happening. So happening, happiness being something that is happening to me or to us, joy being something good that is happening, just happening to everyone. It's very open, it's very inclusive. And I think the struggle with happiness is it's all about me, it's all about us, and it's all about them. Oh, I want to be happy, but the, you know, my happiness comes at the expense of their happiness. Whereas joy is people running around in the streets just smiling and greeting strangers and never, not, never you know, not worrying about who is, who is there because you're just in a state of bliss, feeling connected to everything. So. Personally, I like joy a lot more than I like happiness. But happiness is useful and just joy is useful just as all emotions are useful. Money can't buy me love, but can it buy me happiness? Money can buy you happiness, money can buy you fear, money can buy you anger, money can buy you any emotion you really want. Typically when you get more money, you, you're getting a lot of emotion as well. And so my experience is that it, it doesn't really matter how much money you have or money you don't have. Emotions are going to happen. And often when you have lots of money, you're not just going to get one sole emotion. You're still just going to be a human. And you're still going to go through the whole wave of emotional chaos that, that we all go through. So even if you, you don't have money or you have lots of money, you're probably going to experience all of these emotions if you allow yourself to experience them. Thank you for challenging your assumptions on happiness. Next time on the Jim Jim Show.